Welcome to Level 1 Walkthrough. Welcome back. I'm Tony. And I'm Emad. And this is Episode 9 of Level 1 Walkthrough. And, man, you know, I, I kept thinking about our last podcast, and that was, wasn't was that so much fun to have, have your brother mm-hmm. there? That was really fun, man. Yeah. We need to if, have him uh, on again. I know. If, uh, if people don't know, we had um, uh, Emad's brother, Ayed, from uh, all the way from Japan, he uh, he was able to actually get get in touch with us, and we you know we finally got a got a way to be able to have him on a on the podcast, and it was so much fun. So we had a uh, part one that's that's already posted, and we're going to be doing uh, part two hopefully sometime in the next next week or so, two weeks. But we'll keep everyone posted, and uh, you see, it's fun because right now we're kind of like. Motive, we're pushing ourselves into like doing more social media stuff. So uh, we have our actual uh, Facebook account. So mm-hmm. you might go ahead and tell them, uh, tell them about that. Oh, yeah, man. I'm really excited about it. Um, like I was telling you earlier, we're invading social media. So um, we created an official Facebook uh, website for Level 1 Walkthrough. Um, so please check that out. And then we also created an official account on Twitter as well. So whenever there's, um, whenever we have, new videos or episodes posted up, you guys will be the first to know. Um, and you can put links on here, right? Like, so yeah. we can, okay, yeah. perfect. But uh, yeah, we're really excited about that. Please um, join or follow, uh, like, subscribe, everything that you guys could think of. So yeah. that way you're notified right away whenever there's a new episode available. Exactly. And once we actually start doing this, because come next year, a lot of our stuff is going to be uh, tailor-made specifically for for people to be able to, to be able to like see what we're doing. We're going to be doing a lot more um, interactions where we do videos as well, which is kind of what this, this actual episode is going to be about. So it looks like the Xbox uh, new console is kind of officially they They put out an official trailer, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I want to check it out with you, man. See what your thoughts are on it. Um, see what our listeners thoughts are on it. So okay. it's, it's, I'm excited about it. Do you want okay. to see if we can fire it up now, or do you want yeah. to say a few words before no. we get started? No, no, let's let's go ahead and do that, because um, at least this way we can actually start to see where Xbox and the, the new console, what they're what they're kind of pushing for, for the next generation. So All yeah, right, let's, let's Let, go ahead and um, pull, up, pull up that video, and then we'll, we'll play it. You can go ahead and go ahead and hit play, and then we'll, we'll watch it together. All right, dude, three, two, one, here we go. All right, it's playing on my end. Okay. Can you guys see it? <laughs> everybody, hopefully everybody yeah. will. Yeah. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And that you could have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time. I wonder if this is like actual gameplay. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure. Oh wow! Look at look at those rocks in the water. But now let's um, let's have a surprise. I like surprises. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. Yeah. And then you would get more and more adventure. Right over. And you would make further and further out Ooh. gambles as to what you would dream. Uh huh. That's it. Okay. Here we go. And finally, you would dream New Halo. where you are. Yep. All right, we like, like a cube. You know what happened? It's like we've come full circle. It looks like a little desktop. Yeah, Series X. All right. Power your Power dreams, dreams, Tony. Power your dreams. Uh, the, the holiday 2020. Okay. All what, right. What do you think, man? Do you think they were trying to show, um, like, what they're capable of, like, like what gameplay might look like? Yeah, I mean, well, that's the thing too, is that it seems like they, um, like, kind of like when the the PlayStation Three when that first got announced. Um, there was a game called Resistance, and mm-hmm. I don't, I'm not sure if you remember that, but they had a, a point when they showed actual when something would scatter in in the actual game, like something explode. 
Like mm-hmm. they showed like the particles and they kept talking about the specific amount of particles that can be rendered on one single one scene in an actual gameplay. Mm-hmm. So it seems like they're kind of pushing the a lot of the futuristic or like not futuristic, but more photorealistic uh, landscapes, which, mm-hmm. you know, we started seeing with um, with uh, Death Stranding. You saw a lot of like mm-hmm. photorealistic actual like landscapes where it had mountains, rocks, everything looked just very realistic so it looks yep. like it looks nice man. That. yeah I'm, let's see let me see let me see if i can actually push it back and let's see if we can play okay. yeah i'm just kind of interested in like the part in the very beginning replaying this because you can actually there's a part where like the water the like they show yeah like right Right here, this little part here kind of interests me, just because it looks like like particle effects. Yeah, like they want to show us what they can do with particles. It, it looks like even at a small scale that these the the new console will be able to do quite a bit. Mm-hmm. I like this part. Pause it there. Go back to the yeah. water. All right. Let me see if I can. Yeah. It it seems like it seems like a lot of the stuff can just be maybe procedurally generated. Like, mm-hmm. see how, like, the water itself just kind of evaporates really quickly? Mm-hmm. That so is it cool. Seems- it's really nice. If their next console can do this, it's it's going to be really impressive. Like, we're going to see some awesome things in, in the next games, hopefully. Yeah, because, I mean, because, I mean they, get, they get into, like, they show, like, three games. It looked like that was, like, Forza and uh, Halo, FIFA, FIFA, and then Halo. Mm-hmm. So it seems interesting on what they're kind of doing because it looks like when you this is it oh yeah that water with the rocks that looks really nice yeah look at the look at the rocks and look how they change when that little shockwave hits them like mm-hmm. right when you see that the rocks itself see how on the right side they look like they're not rendered correctly and then it looks like on the on the left you can see how like the rocks have more of a defined edges they have more shadow R- right now and on then, my side it's showing the uh, the cactuses. The cactus trees or whatever. Oh, okay. Do you what? So when I'm switching back and forth, does it? Do you actually see that? Yes, I do. Okay, so let me. Do you see that? Yep. Now I'm in the um the mountains. The mountains. <laughs> what is it? Uh, where's that at for you? Uh, you know what? How about this? How about we? How about you go back and then you you play it and you pause it. Okay. Yeah. Let me. And then, is there a way to fast forward um, on full screen, or do I need to minimize it? Uh, you know that Let's I see. don't. I'll go ahead and, and minimize it for a second. Okay. Can you see the jumps that I'm doing here? No, I can't. I can't do it. I can't see any of them. Oh, hang on. Do you see that? Mm-mm. When I jumped on my the the that other YouTube clip where you, it, it, it jumped with you, right? Yeah, it jumped. But like when you were talking about the rocks, for example, I was seeing the, uh, the trees in the, or the cacti or oh, whatever okay. those were like right now on my end. Right. I have the, uh, the rocks and the, hey, let me see. Yeah, cause uh, I put, I've, oh, wait, there you go. I can see the, your point of, hold on. Oh, it started from the beginning. Bear with us guys. <laughs> we're still, New technology for us. We're still, we're still trying to get this all all figured out. So what we're doing is we're kind of we're trying to tailor it so that we can be able to both be able to. Since we're doing this remotely between the two of us, uh, we found a way to be able to watch videos together. And right now we're just trying to figure out how to be able to actually pause the video and then go back while we're actually doing this. So uh, we found a way to do it. It's just right now we're just not. It's it's. Not perfect yet. Okay, there you go. Do you see it? Yeah, I see the the that. This is it. Cab. This is what I wanted to. Let me um blow this up a little bit. Okay. And boom. This is cool. I like this. Okay. Let me play it a little bit. Do you keep pausing it, or is that? No, I'm not. I'm not pausing it at all. Oh, I, when I play it, it pauses for some reason. Maybe take it out of full screen. Maybe okay. maybe that's what's doing it. Let me try that again. Nope. Okay, let me. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
That's cool. Did you see how the uh, the rocks turned into the water? Yes. I like that. See right there. See see the rocks? If you go back, you can see how the rocks itself, uh, right before that actual shockwave hits the rock on the very right, it looks like it actually like it renders that high definition or that real photo realis- realistic. Is that what you're talking about? Right there? Yeah. That'd be cool if they can change. Uh, uh, there's force right there. Yeah. Like uh, maybe I, I'm sure there's games in the past that that have done this, but like changing the landscape um, instantaneously, that would oh, be man. really cool. If you had your well, you know that's when you're when you're built. Most uh, default game engines will allow you to do that. So like you can create the terrain and you can dump a bunch of like procedurally generated like trees and you can throw them anywhere you want. Um, mm-hmm. And then you can change the actual like you can change all that stuff. So like. You can have the ground, and then all of, all of a sudden you can just create water that comes up from the bottom, and it makes it look like it's kind of flooded a little. Or you can you can elevate all that water, so it makes it look like an ocean and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. You, you can actually do that stuff already, but it's all about it's like the building blocks, and you're building all that stuff on top of it to get to what you want. Um, but look at the look at the clouds in the in the background with the Forza. Look that at, looks look really how, nice, like a sunset or. Yeah, look Sunrise. at the look at you can see the actual like the the depth of it where you see the first mountain and the the first ridge and then mm-hmm. you see, you can see beyond that and then it looks like the the clouds have a little bit of that 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 lighting itself looks it looks really good. Yeah, it looks really nice, man. Yeah. Let us uh go on a little bit. There's FIFA. There's FIFA. Halo. See now Halo, Halo looks like it's going to be it's gonna, it's gonna look like real. Like, see, that's mm-hmm. that's the one thing that's really exciting about where the consoles are gonna be moving towards because it's a it's a natural evolution that the games are gonna look so perfect to real <laughs> to real life that that's where it's gonna be kind of like a blend between what's what's real in the games and what's real in real life. Like, I can't wait till the games itself look so real. That you can't distinguish the two, you know, like mm-hmm. when you like when uh what when I played Grand Theft Auto Five for the first time and I played it for like hours on end, mm-hmm. um when I got out out of my when I got done playing I had to like get myself away from it and then I had to like leave, leave the house. It was weird because when I was driving I felt like I was still playing the game. <laughs> Did you have that? You know that that happens to me like if I play um, like the same game for a long time um, or for like many days in a row. Then yeah. do you dream about it? I like, do. I like, do. <laughs> that's that what weird? happens to me sometimes. But no, I hear you. Like, I like this. Like, that's cool. We're we're finally moving on to like uh, photorealism. Yeah. I don't know. Like, do you think that the Xbox Series X will be able to do that? I'm thinking maybe the next console after that will probably get closer to. I don't. I don't think so. I mean, I think I think this is where they're gonna start. Like, you, mm-hmm. you're gonna start to see like. All of these actual see like the see how that that ridge see all that and the explosions down below right, yeah. right below uh, the character you can actually see that it, they have a lot more depth and you can see like the clouds in the background you can see like the mist mm-hmm. or like the smoke or something like that it looks mm-hmm. like it looks really dynamic like all the lighting see how the sun's coming up from the top left how mm-hmm. it's shining down it really looks interesting like the way that they're making it. It but looks think, really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think everything, the environments are gonna look perfect. Like they're gonna be pitch perfect. And then the characters mm-hmm. are gonna be the one thing, those are gonna be the ones where it's gonna move into it being real. Mm-hmm. Like say what you want about Death Stranding, but their their animation, their motion caption that they got on their characters are spot on. I'd probably have to say yeah. they're they're better than anything I've ever seen. And oh, yeah. even with even mm-hmm. even with that one that one game um was it Beyond? Uh, one with uh, Ellen Page. Do you mm-hmm. remember that game made by um, Quantum Dreams? Yeah, I never played it, but I know I know which game you're talking about. Okay, that in like Detroit, like the, that was all cinematics, and that was all like the animation, the motion caption. I think that Death Stranding is probably, uh, from what I saw, it they are doing some really incredible stuff. So mm-hmm. eventually, it's going to kind of change, and they're going to look real. Like it's going to it's going to look real, but it's not going to be this console's generation. I I would say in the next. 10 years or so that's where it's going to get interesting because right now it looks it looks great 
it's like what can you do with this and then expand on it because games are still kind of it seems like they're in their their adolescence because the the type of games that you can make are they can be anything they don't have to be traditional like characters that are fighting or playing soccer or anything like that there's mm-hmm. a wide variety of games like kind of like a, a virtual reality type of thing where it encompasses a lot of people where you can do th- things like things like that that's kind of what i'm thinking you know what speaking of nice looking games um i know you're super duper excited about the last of us 2 coming out yeah but before just, that just a little bit just a little bit just a little tiny bit yeah but before that comes out um you and i have been talking about looking at um videos that you've captured um uh-huh. on the channel that, that we have already did yeah. you want to go ahead and dive in and go ahead and get started yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd like to um, yeah, let's, do well, it, w- w- let's let's go ahead and do that uh, with the actual like the first your first reaction with uh, with the, the new console. What do you think? What do you think about it? You know, I like it because uh, they're moving towards uh, PC. Like it looks like a mini desktop, man. Uh, yeah. Um, and from what I've read, you know, based on uh, other articles like the let me see which article from Business Insider that I read, it looks mm-hmm. like they're going to use modern technology that's um, comparable to like modern PCs. I think okay. before with like the current gen consoles, they were using older technology. So for me, this okay. is exciting because that means that this is going to be really powerful. Like, mm-hmm. you know how they always say the most powerful console in the world. Well, right. this time around, I really feel like it's going to compete with some, um, you know, with some high end PCs. Like PCs are always going to be a little bit stronger, like, you know, especially at first, but, yeah, because um, you can, because you can do yeah. so much, you can, yeah, you can customize, customize, you can mm-hmm. customize your actual PC to, to make it to whatever you want it to be. If you want yeah. it to, if you want it to just run basic stuff, if you want mm-hmm. to play high end games, like if you wanted to play crisis mm-hmm. when that came out, you know, good luck trying to get a PC that can do that. Even like mm-hmm. monster PCs that could be able to re- play the game had a little hiccup. So, right. Oh, yeah. They also mentioned, um, in the article that they're shooting for 120 frames per second okay um at 4k i'm excited at that uh, you know at that aspect because as a pc gamer like i'm all about the the frames per second so if this xbox series x can make it a minimum 100, 120 frames i don't think it'll probably be a minimum but i'm thinking some of their games if they can reach 120 frames per second the games are going to look really nice so i'm, I'm yeah. excited for it what about you, man? Yeah. Are you excited for the the Xbox Series X? How do you feel? I, about you know, it? you know, I'm I'm always I'm always excited about new consoles because with yeah. new consoles it comes another another type of you know another cycle of people being ex- getting pushing the limits of of the actual console of what it can do. Mm-hmm. Um, most of the time, when the games come out, you have their official first party games that have been using the actual uh, console for a while. Yeah. Um, so they can actually be able to get familiar with it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, I'm always excited about new stuff. I, I like that just because it's going to push to another idea of what games could do where they may have not have the, they may have not had the ability to render what they want to do. And mm-hmm. it looks like this one, it seems like they're kind of playing on the idea that you can be able to like, you can change things on the fly. Like there's going to be a lot of things where, uh, like in, you remember that uh, the one that we discussed about with uh, Anthem? Mm-hmm. You remember that part when they did that reveal trailer and they had that, that section where the storm came yes. and it looked like the, all the trees and stuff like that where the wind was, was mm-hmm. picking up and stuff like that? Mm-hmm. I think that the games itself with maybe consoles can be able to do something like that. Um, it's very demanding on mm-hmm. the actual the engine itself, but I think well, the way that it seems like Xbox is kind of the way they're positioning it, it seems like there's going to be a lot of dynamic things that are going to be happening. A lot of unscripted, mm-hmm. you know, uh, procedurally generated, you know, type of things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm excited as well. I'll just say like one, my final thoughts on this is I'm excited for both, you know, like I love both the Xbox and the PlayStation. I'm hoping though that the, um, that Microsoft really, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I want them to match Sony software. Like Sony has been pumping out so many exclusive games that are awesome, right? Yeah. Like The Last of Us, um, Mm -hmm. Spider-Man, God of War. It's just like, boom, boom. boom. They're just like pumping out one thing after the other. Microsoft has, um, you know, a lot of exclusives, but I don't know if they need more or like, you know, they have Halo, they have their gears. Right. But um, 
I, I've read somewhere that like they bought a lot of studios like this past year. So mm -hmm. I'm hoping that they're going to make new IPs for the next console. Like they need to get on par with PlayStation. That'd be great. That'd you, know, be great. Like you can have the hardware, you can have the better hardware, but if yeah. you don't have, but if your games aren't good, people are not going to play them and people aren't going to buy your system for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, yeah. It, I mean, it goes hand in hand with the actual, with the console and we don't even know what the price structure is going to be for this. Probably. So, I'm, I'm thinking if I can guess probably five to 600. Yeah. Yeah. And then they might have another version of it. That's going to be like, the like stripped down, much, the stripped yeah, down version. I mean, yeah, that's another thing. They'll probably have a, a, a standard one and then they'll have like a high definition one. Cause it seems like the, it's weird too, because it seems like the consoles are following the trend of like how phones uh, hmm. have, they have like one version, they have a plus version and yeah. then they have a, a bigger super version. Mm -hmm. So it seems like the consoles have like two of them because they're kind of they want to see what the what the actual consumer is going to pick. Obviously, they want to pick the best one, but it needs to be priced at a you know, reasonable so you can be able to uh, to afford it. Um, but know, they need they need they need to put in at least a terabyte or two terabytes mm -hmm. of memory in these things. Like minimum, yeah. I don't want to deal with five hundred gigs anymore. Like right. five hundred gigs is not enough. Like, no, we're done with you that. Can, we you can, you can only you can only put on the PlayStation. I can only put up like eight games that automatically install the games into the hard drive. Hard drive. Mm -hmm. That's they do that on purpose so then it can be able to run the game a little bit more efficient. Right. But we need to have like a terabyte or two. Like like get away from that that five hundred gigs. If they if mm -hmm. Xbox does five hundred gigs on this and then the games are are demanding where they're like you know seventy gigs to be able to you know install into the into the console itself. Like no, they they need to be pushing a terabyte or two, and then then you can be able to put as much as you want on there. So then you don't ha you don't have to worry about that because mm -hmm. that's that's it's annoying to kind of have to like micromanage the games that you have and right. just uninstall them. I agree with you, man. Um, I'm thinking minimum one terabyte, uh, but if they do two, that would be great. Also, another thing I'm worried about is you know how you're talking about like when a phone releases, it'll have mm -hmm. different versions of it. Like, mm -hmm. there's the high end, and then there's a the middle one, and then there's a the low end. Yeah. Like, if they're going to do that, do that up front. Like, I don't like how they release one console, and then, like, two or three years later, they'll have, like, the pro version of it. Like, the PS4, and then there's a yeah. PS4 Pro. Like, instead of doing that, just work on the next PlayStation. You know, I, I know mm -hmm. that they're trying to extend the life of the original console. Yeah. But if they're going to do that, have a low, medium, and high end version of... You mean right if off it's the gonna bat? be Xbox or PlayStation? Yeah, do it right off the bat. Like, okay, because I don't think it's well, fair. Like, like what if someone buys the Xbox Series X and it's like, yeah, it's right. great, and then two, three years later, it, Xbox Series X Part Two Alpha, yeah, you know, <laughs> then you have prototype. to decide, prototype, yeah, prototype. One. Then you have to decide. <laughs> okay, well, do I want to upgrade? Like, I just recently got this, right? You know, I think the the current life cycle of the uh, of a console is like four or five years minimum, right? Mm -hmm. on average but well they've been they've been able to to expand that you know typically you're right it's about like five to six years mm -hmm. but with the the you know the, the current generation right now it looks like they've been pushing for like you know eight years so yeah they, they've shown a little bit more longevity with the the console and you know i i get i get what you're saying about that but you know you also know what you're getting you know what i mean yeah. like you, you 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 know the price structures you know like what they're offering and what you're looking for the right. problem is, is that when you have people that don't know that and they just buy the console and they're like, oh, another one comes out. They're like, I have to buy that one. You really don't need to. You need to like mm -hmm. just look and see what the bottom line is of what you want. Mm -hmm. And if they come up with a slimmer version, then I, that part I have no problem with. If they've kind of shrink the actual device, the, the console itself to make it a little bit smaller, that's fine. I have no problem with that. I'm all with about the power. Like Exactly. If, <laughs> if you can generate more power, then I'll pay I'll pay more. If, you, if right. you're pushing you're pushing this thing to run 4k 120 hertz and you're showing me like real actual gameplay of like what they're pushing because i don't even know they didn't even put i mean they're they're strategic on this because you know they're not going to put out you know an actual gameplays yet it's going to be mm -hmm. kind of like uh, cinematics that they're going to put in there first you're not going to start seeing stuff until the game gets closer in its launch window that you'll start actually seeing more gameplay or, or mm -hmm. what they're even starting to do so uh I'm interested in seeing what um, I don't think we've seen an official picture of the next PlayStation. Like we no. know what the Xbox Series X looks like. I'm interested to see what the next Sony uh, yeah. PlayStation will look like. 
but um, well, if, you know, if you look back, mm -hmm. I mean, if I could, if I could pull this back real quick, I just yeah. want to look at the actual the console itself. Mm -hmm. And can you see that? Um, on my end? Nope, mine is on uh, power your dreams still. Okay, can you can you go back to where uh, where it shows the actual console yeah. itself? Let me, because I'm kind of interested in uh, maybe just yeah, I'm on there more. now. Yeah, it's so, on a minute thirty two. Seconds. Okay, so the way that the way that it looks, it looks like you can be able to. I mean, it looks pretty big, and is that going to really fit in your your entertainment center? Like, can you can you put it down on its on its on its side, or is that the only way that it stands up? Because it looks pretty pretty damn chunky. It seems like it's going to be chunky either way. So it looks like a desktop now, but then if you were to lay it horizontally, it's going to take up space as well. Like it, it just looks like a monster, man. It does. It does actually look like just like a, a PC. It, that's that's really what it looks like. I don't mind I mean, that. I mean, yeah. If it can deliver in its yeah. uh, in its performance, yeah. For me personally, like I don't care how how it looks. Like mm -hmm. I would rather get something that's bigger and more powerful than like a slim version, less powerful, slightly less mm -hmm. powerful, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah. But uh, can you can you see the actual look at the the actual controller, you see mm -hmm. that extra, the extra middle button. Oh, I never, I didn't notice that until you just pointed that out. Now, yeah, that looks like a, a share button, doesn't it? Yeah, kind or like of. A or like a download button. Yeah, download. That, that's what it looks like. It looks like a download button. Mm -hmm. I wonder what that's for. The I D pad looks a little bit different too. Yeah, it looks it looks like the the edge parts of the the D pad kind of come up a little bit more, so maybe it's mm -hmm. a little bit more, you know, more comfortable. And it looks like the if, I mean, if you look at the actual the the left and right thumbstick, it, they look kind of pushed in a little. Like they don't mm -hmm. extend. It, it doesn't look like it it extends out too high. Right. Like it's maybe smoother with your actual fingers, so you can wrap your hands around it. I don't want to wrap my hands around it. <laughs> it looks <laughs> nice, dude. It looks very nice. Dude, well, I mean, it's they've come a long way since like the original Xbox controller. You remember that? Oh the, my god! The, remember that beast? Yep. That thing was that thing was huge. It was um, humongous. With the clear white button and the clear yeah. black button, yeah. Oh my god, that was many moons ago. <laughs> it was it was quite a bit ago. But you know, you see the difference in like the where they're changing everything, how they're making mm -hmm. they're they're emphasizing like the the top part where the actual the trigger buttons are and the and the top right buttons, right right left and right bumpers. How they're kind of it seems a little bit more defined. Like mm -hmm. that's one thing about Xbox is that their controls were a little bit bigger, and PlayStation was a little bit more. Like it, it seems a little bit more like you can hold it and it wasn't heavy. Like th that's that was one thing about PlayStation. Their controllers, they they never felt heavy to me. And Xbox mm. was just a little chunkier. Like yeah, because you could put batteries into them. Like I had the version where you can charge the actual unit with mm -hmm. uh, batteries, um, and then you had the other ones where you can just plug them in and then mm -hmm. just let it go. Right. So no, I'm excited, yeah. man. This looks good. Do yeah, you want to? Um, do you want to see if we can get anything from the uh, the Last of Us? See if we can check out the intro, or do you yeah. want to? Okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and try that. Um, so, with the final thoughts, what, you, what what's your what's your price structure? What do you think for this? For the Xbox Series X, let's 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 let's, let's, let's put out the speculation wheel. Okay. What, what what do you think? What do you Spe think it's going to start at? Okay, if they do um, like a low end, high end, I'm thinking the low end console is going to be around four hundred. Okay. And the higher end, uh, I'd say five hundred or five fifty. That, that's okay. the price range I'm, I'm thinking. What about okay. you? I think I think it's going to start at five hundred. Oh think, wow! The low end? Do you think it'll be five hundred? I think the, I think the low end's going to be five hundred because if wow. they're going to be push, if they're going to be pushing four K and mm -hmm. one hundred and twenty with it, and that's what they're going to emphasize. I think it's going to. I think their structure could be five hundred, and then they can have another version. That's maybe six hundred dollars. So I think mm -hmm. that's where it's. I think that's where it's going to start. Yeah, that um, makes sense. What I what I would love is for them to add another controller. I wish they would do that. I wish they would just give you two controllers mm -hmm. and not force you to buy another one because everybody's going to need another controller. That would be a game changer, man. That'd that's be. A, I mean, it's a it's a small little thing, but yeah. it's just like, hey, why don't we just give you another controller because mm -hmm. you're going to use it and you know they're going to have it. And if you want to buy, like you're kind of giving a small little investment, like, hey, we're already, we know you're going to be playing with other people. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it doesn't have to be, be just you. But yeah, I don't think I it'll break that. their bank if they did that. 
I think, well, come on, man. Those things don't cost the fraction of what they're doing. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's, uh, I think it's, I think it's going to be really, it's going to be structured around 500 and then another version will be maybe 600. I think yeah. they're going to, they're going to do two versions of them. Because maybe I priced it too low. <laughs> no, no, too I think, hopeful. well, cause you, cause you're looking at, you're looking at it more like reasonable, but the way that they're actually, the, the way the console looks, mm-hmm. that console looks like it's going to be a, a pushing like a an actual like a good modern pc right now so mm-hmm. i would say their their price structure would be 500 bucks yeah and then perfect. goes and then it goes up from there yeah because 499 right. doesn't sound bad um because they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna market it that way and it does it come in different colors mm, i don't think so maybe at first we'll see okay but okay. Uh, yeah 499 i think you're probably right 499 sounds a lot better than 500 for some reason Exactly, because yeah. everyone's in tune to like say five hundred bucks. I don't want to do that, but yeah. when it's four ninety nine, you're like, oh, you might think yeah, about maybe it. I can afford it now. <laughs> which is weird. Which is totally weird. Yeah. Cool, man. Cool. So, did they? They didn't announce any actual. Did they announce any kind of like games that are they're that they're pushing for this, or is it simply just the 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 uh, console an- an announcement trailer? No, there's another trailer. Um, there's a game called Hellblade. Did you okay. have you ever played that? Yeah, that was the that was for the yeah 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 I do so, remember that yeah so there there's a trailer Hellblade two trailer and that's okay. for the Xbox uh, Series X okay so um, I don't know if I told you but I watched this trailer um, the other day like uh, my buddy David told me about it but right. he didn't give me a heads up that it's a little creepy is so, it. I was watching it and like it creeped me out so bad I had to look over my shoulder just to make really? sure. That was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it creeped me out, dude. Well, um, now now you got now you got me interested. Do you want to do you want to pop it up? You want to can... watch it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, pop uh, it up. Yeah, it's it's good to have somebody with you. I mean, I love horror movies and stuff, but like this it one, does, it, it creeped me sound, out. It doesn't, it doesn't sound like it. It sounds like you need to. If you do watch scary movies, mm-hmm. it seems like you need to have all the lights on. Oh yeah, at least one light on is for good measure. <laughs> For, for safety reasons. Yeah, you for safety know. reasons. Yeah, if you want to <laughs> check it out real quick, let me see if I can pull it up. Okay. okay. Um, by, by Ninja Theory? Okay. Yeah, by Ninja Theory. Let me make it full screen, and then uh, I want to capture this as well. Okay. Um, we'll run through it, and then and then you can uh, minimize it, and then we can go back. Boom, so that's full screen. Do you see, when I do full screen on my end, does it show full screen on your end as well? No, I, I, oh, it, keeps okay. my, it keeps my minimum. Okay, I'm going to capture this. Are you ready for this, man? Do you, do you have a light on or something? Oh, I'm, I'm cool. It's, oh, you're good? Okay. It's daytime. It's daytime. Oh, yeah, it's daytime. Yeah, that's right. It's daytime for you, too, so you should be fine. Oh, yeah, I'm good. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> uh, mine's not playing. Oh, it's like... For, what, it plays I and it stops. I think, it's, I think it's because you put it in full screen. Okay, I'm trying to capture it in full screen. I guess we'll, that's a, we'll. That's okay, I mean, just just keep it the keep it that way, and then we can we can we can edit it the way we need to. Okay, is it playing for you now? Yeah, yeah. All right. See, there's that dynamic environment again. Mm-hmm. Dynamic water. Yeah, they seem to be really pushing that. Oh, and there's the. Uh... See, there's the rock. Mm-hmm. Hey man, it looks great. Yeah. Look at the terrain, like that just looks so nice in the distance, the draw distance. Yeah. That's cool that this game got a, a sequel. Yeah, I gotta play the first one. Look at that. Arms. Arms taking I'm hoping it's in game. This creeped me out, yeah. Just like her facial expressions and the music and the tone. But was that is that a, a real actress or is that an actual is that in game? That's in game model, dude. No way. Yeah, I no think way, so. Dude. When she opened her mouth, it looked like one of her one of her teeth were was rotten. I've never seen that before. Yeah, dude, that's... I'm hoping that this is in-game footage. Look at that. That looks crazy, man. I don't know, man. I'm always skeptic with stuff like this. I know. I know you are. It looks great. But you know what's cool, too? Because that's... Okay. 
the second the the first one was more of a it was like a downloadable a game that was like I think it was like thirty bucks. Mm-hmm. They, they did some cool stuff, man. If you ever play that game, there's a part where the character interacts with the camera. The camera itself hmm. is kind of like a ghost. Like you play as like kind of like a ghost that's following her. So she'll look directly at the camera when you're looking at her, mm-hmm. and she'll grab the actual like it looks like she's grabbing you and pulling you towards her, and she's like talking to you. Like you're kind of like a ghost following her. Oh wow! Just being the camera following the character. It's, it, that it, sounds it, interesting. Yeah, they did some interesting stuff. The the combat was all one on one, and you actually had to like you had to be able to like a lot of fencing, a lot of blocking. So you had to be a little bit more strategic with your your game, but the the stuff that they did, that the the type of stuff that was in the actual game itself, it's it it really was interesting. They did some really cool stuff. What do you think about this? Um, so since you've seen it or you've played the first one, what do you think about the trailer for the second one? I think it looks good. I mean, I, I have I have my own reserves on stuff like this because mm-hmm. it, it they all look it all looks great. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm I'm more interested in this. If I see that's the thing, I can't tell if that's if that's real or not. Because look at look at look at the way when you have it paused. Look yeah. at her vein up on the top on her forehead. Look at that. Oh wow! Have you ever seen that? I've no, never that looks seen really that nice. Yeah, I've never I've never seen that before. That looks good. So it might this might actually be in, um, a character mo- or an actual in game character model. Like this looks like a cinematic part where they've actually motion captured that, but. That's pretty damn interesting, man. Mm-hmm. So, okay, can, can you can you play that part just real quick? And we yeah, can, dude. Because I noticed when she opens her mouth. Oh no, no, go back, go back where she's like doing that little chanting, whatever that was. The creepy chanting. Yeah, the creepy chanting. It's okay. So it's right. Uh, go ahead and play that, play that right now. And then, when when she opens her mouth up real 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 wide. like she screams or something like that, uh-huh. and her mouth opens, and you can see one of. One of her teeth on the on the left side looks rotten. Uh, right there. So you can see like a little bit on the very bottom, or maybe that's a shadow. But look up on the shadow. very look on the very top, dude. That yeah. looks like it like parts of it are like rotten. I've never seen that before. Yeah, can we zoom I mean, in on the rotten tooth? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean look at look at the actual mouth itself. It looks it, everything looks yeah. it looks like it's just real it looks like mm-hmm. that's an actual a real actor doing that i mm-hmm. wonder if they blended that in that, that might be a little they might be kind of mis, misleading us i think that actually is an actual person mm-hmm. and then they put the the, the actual in-game um, character models because if you go back the ones that are holding those little like, little pitchforks mm-hmm. those guys like that you could tell those ones are character models yeah i think that's an i think that's an actual actress i think that's a real person mm-hmm. i don't think that's motion capture go ahead and hit play because it moves too much. See those characters, you can tell. Yeah. Those ones, you can tell. Yeah. Yeah. So you think that's a, that's an actress? Like that's not yes. in game footage, or do you think I it's think cinematic? That's... No, I think that's a. I think that's an actual an actress. Maybe that part is cinematic. Maybe that part. I think that's a real movie. monster, real rock monster. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a real rock monster. Yeah, I think that's real. Yeah. Would it blow your mind though? Like, well, like, what if we found out that that it, it's not an actress? Like, that's a real in-game model. Well, that's that would be interesting. I mean, because with all that detail, are you really are you really going to be able to show all of that? You know, like, yeah. Most of the time, most of the time, you can't actually see all the work that these that these animators do for the for these characters because you're playing the game. You mm-hmm. you can only see it when they do like cinematics or where they emphasize that part when they showed the actual face so um i think if they if they did stuff like that i think it would be would be interesting yeah i think uh, so too it, man did it did it it didn't give a release date did it i imagine it's like sometime no no no, no okay. release date not on this trailer okay. at least okay yeah that's that's uh it seems interesting uh stuff like that it seems like once again they're they're doing that actual you'll see a lot of games that have that photorealistic like environment so it looks like you're mm. going to be seeing a lot of that like I'm, that's going to be the norm it's going to be nice dude i can't wait yeah that's cool so what do you what do you think what's your what's your initial reaction other than you getting scared other than me getting scared and looking over my shoulder to make sure that no one's going to charge or rush me right 
I think it looks really nice. And, um, and it looks like they incorporate a few things from, from the reveal trailer, from the Xbox Series X reveal trailer. Yeah. Like we saw the terrain um, and, you know, dynamic. Was there dynamic weather in, in this trailer? In this trailer that we just saw? I mean, it looked like they were kind of doing that in the very beginning. Yeah, the water. That's what I was thinking about. Dynamic water and the terrain. I think they're... Um... Like that. Like the, the, the very beginning part where it's just kind of moving, panning through, and you see that, mm-hmm. that volcano that looks like it's like about to erupt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you see a lot of this stuff. And if you can put the character in these worlds... Dude, you can you can make like these like planets look completely alien, and oh, mm-hmm. you're exploring stuff like this. Like you can make them look crazy good. Can you, you imagine can a new Mass Effect with this level of graphical detail? Oh, man. That would be fun. Oh, that would be perfect if they can. Okay, so if they can be able to do like wh- where they can render the planet to whatever they want, and you can tra- if you can really travel from one planet to another in Mass Effect. Mm-hmm. And have that kind of thing, like what No Man's Sky promised, and have something like that, where yeah. automatically you can you can fly from from space into the actual planet with no cutscenes, and it can look like this. Yeah, that yeah. would be that be that be really interesting. You know what they'd have to add though? Mm. Co op. Co op. <laughs> you know that's co-op. coming, man. Yeah, they have yeah. to. I mean, they have all co-op this gra- everything. graphical power. You have to include a buddy in there. I want to play this w- with a friend. You know, we need to, We need to get like a T shirt. We need to get like we need to make like a T-shirt that says like co-op always. Don't worry, co-op man. and co-op and everything. I'm thinking about that, man. <laughs> Hopefully, when uh, when we start releasing our gear, or you know what, our... everything, everything, or you know what? How about this? This is this is a perfect idea. What if everything that we once we actually like have like T-shirts and stuff, we have something else that's a companion with it. So if you get a T-shirt, you get a sticker. That's something that's like a companion. So it's always co-op with that's everything you get. I like that. Yeah, it's a good idea, man. <laughs> Good idea. I like that. Well, this game's not going to have co-op. I can tell you that. Yeah, you're it's probably just, right. This is, this is this is all single player. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it does it does look interesting. I think these characters here, the ones that are popping up that are holding the pitchforks, I think those those obviously are in-game characters. Mm-hmm. This, however, this the character itself got got me interested because I can't tell if that's a real person or not, and I think it might be. This part where she's mm-hmm. actually chanting, I think that is an actual act- actress. And then when she stops and she's breathing, mm-hmm. chanting at the very end, I think that's an in-game model. I yeah, think. I'm not sure, but man. That's, but that's the specula- speculation, speculation wheel that we're that we're doing. So we're speculating. Yeah, because I mean, look at look at that dude. I think look at look at yeah. look at the way she does that, and look at her look at her left eye when she mm-hmm. does that. Watch. See? Yeah. See how like it, it opened? A little. Yeah, she squints a little. Yeah, I've never seen that before. It's moving so fast. Yeah, it's moving too fast. Mm-hmm. It's, it's creeping me out, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to keep it on that. So it gives you nightmares. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have nightmares. Uh, probably not. Oh my! Oh my god! Such a baby. Now you know what's funny. Like I can watch the scariest movie, but you know I, I normally don't like think about it after that. Like, I'll go to bed and and I'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Um, but I can't watch horror movies with my wife because she will remember like details and stuff. And she'll remind you. Yeah. And I'm like, I like totally forgot about it. Or I, I don't even think twice about it, but yeah. So when I watch horror movies, I have to watch them by myself with yeah. at least one light on. Yeah. Then, then, then I'm okay. Then you're okay. Yeah. Okay. So with, uh, with the Xbox and, you know, PlayStation going to be revealing their stuff, what to, what do you think? What what exactly would you want to see this console these kind of consoles do? Like what is there anything in particular that you would want to start seeing in games other than co-op? Ooh, that's a tough one. Other than co-op. You know what I wish that they bring back? Mm-hmm. They need to do more split screen. Like if they release um like the next Halo, then mm-hmm. you just, they need to have more couch co-op. Because I think they like there's a lot of games that stop doing that. Like, didn't Halo Five release and it didn't have like split screen or couch co op? I believe so. That's... I believe so. I, I'm not exactly sure, but once again, we we don't we don't have a lot of facts because we're not professionals, mm-hmm. so and we're not prepared all the time. I'm a co op professional, <laughs> <laughs> so that you should know. You that. Ask me other than co op, and I start talking about co op. Um, there is a you know speaking of that. Did you, you know. ever play a game that uh, came out about a year ago? 
it's uh, two guys that are, I think they're brothers. They're in jail, and it's all co-op. No, um, I want to play that. I know what you're talking about. I can't think of the name. What is it called? Like prison like, Escape like, or something? Yeah, or? like Life in Prison. or Yeah, I think it's Prison Escape. But it's all about your your characters working together in order to be able to break out of the prison that they're in. That looks fun, so man. You, so you have to go through the process. Like there's a, There was a scene that I remember where one of the guys, one of the characters, one of the other, the player is holding a, a laundry basket. And then you jump in the laundry basket and then they throw blankets on you. And the character actually has to grab the, the, the blankets individually mm-hmm. and throw them on top of you. And then oh, that's cool. the, game, the game that's the character that's in the basket, he can actually pull himself kind of like he can look through a little part of the towels so he can look through and he can see what's going on while he's getting pushed. That's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah. They do that with like uh, if you need to get to a certain ledge, like a character will do that little kind of like he'll position himself. One character will put himself so you can put his leg on his hands and then mm-hmm. he lifts him up. So they have a lot of stuff like that. And like one other one that's going to that's gonna blow your mind and just incorporating all this co-op is like one one of them, you'll be picking a lock and your other character will be over there in the corner um, on the other side making sure that the police, like one of the, the guards don't, doesn't come by. So if the guard comes by, he mm-hmm. tells you. Like you have to be like, oh, stop, stop real quick. That's and then you cool. Have to stop. Like stop a lookout. Doing. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like so much yeah. fun. I gotta look into that game. Yeah, I think it's yeah, I think it's Escape from Prison, but it's all it's all co op, and they do it. They don't do it split screen or anything like that. So you, when you're doing something, the other player can see it. So you're both like playing in the same in, in the same screen at the same time. I think hmm. so. I, I think it might split up, but I didn't I didn't play the game, but I remember seeing it. Yeah, to be honest with you, I mean, I get co op is my main focus, but what about you? Like, like what are you hoping that they'll be able to incorporate in the next generation consoles? that that we haven't seen you know current gen uh you know i i mean all the games are gonna look so great now Mm -hmm. Uh, there's really no end to what you can be able to do i just i wish that uh the games would expand beyond um it just being very like shooter based uh where you're you're doing the same type of stuff like i want to actually really feel like i want to be thrown into a world that i have no idea what's going on and i want to explore if you can give me freedom to do anything i want mm-hmm. and like I'm a, I'm a person like a lone person on a, on a on a desert planet and i need to survive and that's all you do mm-hmm. that's that's intriguing to me because there's a mystery to it there's like a survival part of it so i think mm-hmm. if you can push all these things to make everything look great i want a stripped down version of a story but i want something that's that's grounded for my character that's journeying through whatever's happening while i'm doing it along with them i want a mystery like i don't want everything to be all flash all explained to me Mm -hmm. i want something simple in this huge world that they can be able to create and the way that it looks Mm -hmm. you can make everything this reminds me of um when we're talking about death stranding and you're like what if they made it this way where you crash landed on an alien island on an alien planet like that's what you're describing like that that sounds like the game that you well, really want to play because that's that's really what i saw man like mm-hmm. there were scenes like i told you like when you're lugging some of that cargo around when you when you don't have it piled up on you where it looks kind of weird when it's kind of like at at your shoulder base and you only have like maybe two or three things you actually look like a like an astronaut like mm-hmm. your the suit looks like that and it would be cool because if you were on a planet and it looked like that where you can see the landscape it looked like it looked like you were just out in the mountains, but then mm-hmm. all of a sudden you saw this, like you would, you can change up like the landscape. You can make it like different colors. You can have like alien, like, like animals or anything that are interacting with you that are alien completely. So you can do stuff like that. And I just, it lended itself to that because it's just like, there was a lot of mystery. That's so, what I wanted. So what you're describing from what it sounds like is you want like a next gen survival game. With like next gen, yeah. like survival mechanics, I guess I yeah. should say. Yeah, yeah, I like I like stuff like that, man. I, I like I like when you have to think on your feet. I think when I think when you have to decide, am I going to use, you know, my weapon for defense, or am I going to use it as a way as a as a tool for myself, you know, as a blunt object? Like mm-hmm. I want to have those choices. So it's like, hmm. am I surviving to get away from other people? Am I stranded on an actual planet by myself? You know, how do I survive and stuff like that? That would be like, fun, man. 
I, hope I like stuff like, like, I like stuff like that. It's it's a very stripped down, you know, simple type of game. It's a hard one to be able to market. Mm-hmm. But that's kind of what that's kind of what I like. I like if you can if you can give me all the stuff that you can do, yeah. but then throw me into a world where I have no idea what's going on, and then I have to find my my way to survive. That's what I like, and it doesn't have to be a a zombie survival or anything like that. Mm-hmm. It can just be simply, you know, you you crash like exactly like that. You crash land on a planet, mm-hmm. and you don't know what's going on. Figure it out. Right. So it's like a mystery and survival because you have to. Yeah. Exactly. Survive. Exactly. And on top exactly. of that, you have an oxygen tank, but your oxygen tank is depleting, <laughs> so you have to figure out how to tape the capsule or something. Oh, I, or I make it what? so hard for you, dude. Like if I was... or, you, or you know what? You know what? What I'm explaining is exactly the game that uh, that I did. I didn't play the most recent version of it, mm-hmm. um, but did you uh, did you play Metro um, uh, uh, 2033? No, I haven't Metro played any Pro. of the Metros. I still need or, to do that. Or, or, or Dying Light. Did you ever play that one? No. I saw Dying Light on sale, and I'm like, I, I was so tempted to pick it up. Like, like that looks okay. like a really fun zombie game. Well, okay. Not, not, was it not Dying Light? I'm sorry. Oh. The, the Metro, the most recent, uh, most recent version of the, the video game that came out. Did you remember, remember that one? Can we pull up the trailer? It was Exodus. It Maybe was we can look Exodus. At... Exodus. Oh, no, I have not. Okay, so that game, what I like, I, I didn't get, I didn't get a chance to actually play that game, but I, the Metro series itself is mm-hmm. really interesting because it's like a post-apocalyptic world. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's Last Light, that's what it's called. The one that came out in 2013 is called Last Light, hmm. and then the, the the new one that just came out is called Exodus. Okay. So you're everyone's down underground, living in the like subway tunnels because there's nuclear fallout that's on the surface and Mm -hmm. there's like these mutants that are like ravaging the the top like the animals have been been able to take over the entire world but what's awesome about this game Mm -hmm. is it's in first person you have bullet count you have a mask you have um air that you have to supply Mm -hmm. so if if the animals hit you on your mask uh you it it can actually have damage and you can actually you you have to take the mask off and get another one you have to survive in the environments of like people that have died and like grab their resources and grab their masks or grab their their oxygen tanks mm-hmm. that they have. You pull them off and you put them on yours so you can have more air. That sounds so really that, interesting, man. Like I want to. The game. The, check it the out. last the last slide is it, they have a, they give you a lot of like you have a lot of things that you have to micromanage. Like not only do you have a certain amount of bullets, you have a a, a little portable generator that you have to actually. Um, you have to generate yourself mm-hmm. on the fly because your light will actually start flickering if the, it goes out in like if it doesn't have enough power. You have to pull your generator and actually wow. do it. Your guns can actually jam, so the bullets can jam, and then your um, you have that, and then you also have a, a wristwatch on your left side mm-hmm. that tells you uh, where you're going. You have a map that you pull up, and you have a little lighter that pops up too, so you have a little bit of light to see with your map. So they give you all these little things on top of these creatures attacking you. So you have a lot of things you have to micromanage, but it's you have to you have to be very smart on what you're doing. And the mm-hmm. Exodus was kind of an expansion of that where you're on the surface a little bit more. Mm-hmm. But they even have a little motion where if you let's say like something gets in your face and like maybe mud or something like that, yeah. there's a button that you press and it your character grabs his hand and wipes it off the actual mask that sounds really there's a, detailed there's a little yeah there's a little animation for that and if you don't do it you can't see you actually have to do that kind of like a you create like a little your hand is like a windshield wiper kind of yeah hmm. is the next yeah. one um that's going to be released is it going to be for current gen or for next gen well no the xx came out this year oh it came, it came out already okay yeah it, it came out this year i just i unfortunately wasn't able to to get a hold of it but what hmm. i'm I mentioned that because that's the actual game that I love playing. Those type of games that I love playing mm-hmm. because you have to be very smart and strategical of what you're doing. Um, even though you're in that game, your majority of it is you, you sneak into people, you sneak in like hideouts and take them, take them out. But your gun, your bullets are your resource. Th- those are your currency. So mm-hmm. the more ammo you waste, the less money you have. So you have to be very aware mm-hmm. of what you're using because you use bullets as a way to be yeah. able to upgrade yourself. You know, that's how I felt um, when I played Resident Evil 2 Remake. Like, you really had to be careful um, with your items, like, you know, your bullets and your health. 
because if you wasted your bullets and there's like a crowd of zombies, you have to figure out how to get around it or you have to be better at saving your bullets right. or you have to right. make sure that you're not getting hit too much because they only give you so much in health. So, you know, as you were telling me about that, I was thinking yeah. about Resident Evil 2. Th those games are fun where it's like you have to not only worry about the enemies, but you have to also take care of yourself and you have a limited amount of resources to do it. Exactly. So what you're describing sounds really fun. Like, I, I want, I need to check out those games. Cause, yeah, cause, you know, yeah. If you if you go back and actually play the uh, the first um, Metro uh, twenty thirty three, mm -hmm. there's a the, the game has a little bit of problems. But what's great, what's cool about it is that they they remade that one and did the uh, Dying Light along with it. So if you bought the actual game, you can get two games in one uh, where they they went back and actually changed some of the stuff in the first game and polished it up a little and redefined some of the mechanics that they fixed mm -hmm. in the second game and then they implemented it in the first game. So if you get that, it's I think it's called the uh, Redux, uh, Metro Redux. Okay, so 2030... Uh, oh, go ahead. Yeah, the first one is 2033, uh -huh. and then Metro uh, Last Light is the second one, and then Exodus is the third. But in between okay. uh, Last Light and Exodus is a game called Metro... Um, redux and i think that one is the first game and the second game um where you can buy both of them at the same time okay cool i'll have to check it out man like like everything that you're describing sounds fun yeah you know, it's it's, 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 it got a, it's got a lot of world building too and it's what's awesome too is that you go down into the subway system and you interact with people mm -hmm. and there's parts where you do missions of course but you actually learn about them just surviving they even have there's one section where they have like they have a whole society in this in these in these tunnels so in these subway tunnels so they have like there's theater there's a bar there's places that people go to to kind of like kind of like keep whatever humanity they have left mm -hmm. and there there's a scene where you're playing in the game in last light that you sit you sit down and you're watching an actual play you're watching people perform on stage and that's part of the actual game you can wow. get up whenever you want but you can watch it and participate in something like that. You That's don't have, you don't cool. participate. You don't participate, but you actually mm -hmm. just watch it. And you can get up and leave if you want to. Does it have um, any RPG elements? Because for me, that would be like the icing on the cake. The closest thing that they have for that would be your um, customization of your weapons, mm -hmm. where you can be able to just you can change you know, get a scope. You can have more ammo, but that's all based on how much ammo you have as your currency. So you have to you have to decide: Do you want to get this weapon? Or do you want to save your your ammunition for something else? Or do you want to just use a, you know, something something very minimum because you're not going to be you, you're not going to you're going to keep yourself safe all the time. Mm, so okay. not not really for like stats for your character, um, but he does. If you run, you hear him actually the character actually panting. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't have like stamina or anything like that, but he he will slow down. But they they have small amount of, of RPG elements in it, but not to the extent where like. You're changing attributes in the character where you make them bigger, or like they're stronger. You can mm -hmm. throw upgrades into them. No, it's mainly into the actual guns itself that you can customize, because your weapons are your main source to defend against these these huge monsters, um, or these uh, they're, they're basically like mutant. Like they could be like dogs that are like mutated, mm -hmm. and they're like they they just weird because of all that radiation. They change them. Because people haven't been on the surface for like X amount of years. I think like 10, 10 some odd years after this big nuclear fallout. So you couldn't even get on the surface. So everyone's underground. Well, if it doesn't have any RPG elements, then I'm not going to play it. Garbage. <laughs> you just described even, a garbage even, game. Even, even just... after everything I just told you. <laughs> no, I mean, honestly, it, it sounds really interesting. It, and it sounds like the developers put a lot of work into it. Like if you're yeah. talking about just the, uh, you know, hearing panting after you guys running. And all mm -hmm. the uh, little intricate details and stuff where yeah. you get the mud on your visor or whatever, and, and yeah. there's a button to clean it. Like, yeah. like that sounds really cool. I definitely want to check it out. Yeah, if you want, you know, if you want to, if you if you want to check out like the first scene um, or the first couple episodes, um, I have posted the Metro Last Light on the YouTube channel. So if anyone that's that's listening, and if you haven't played the game of what I'm talking about, just go to youtube.com uh, slash uh, level one tester. And that one is where my the gameplay on that one is on there. So if you want to actually check it out, you can see like the first. I don't, I don't think I completed the actual game, but I got in at least a, quite a bit of, of um, 
actual clips onto it that I posted. So okay. you can get a good feel for what the game is trying to tell. But yeah, yeah it's, I'll it's, check it out. It's cool. S- speaking of our um, YouTube channel, we're also yes. going to create a, an official level one um, walkthrough YouTube channel as well, right? Like hopefully yes. that's in the works. Yes. So what I was kind of mentioning before about what we were going to be making changes for coming next year is we're going to be slowly grabbing the people that we have on our YouTube channel, which, you know, thank you very much for anyone that's, that's been listening uh, to us. And also mm-hmm. that have, that have been watching um, the YouTube channel of videos that I've been posting up for years. You know, I really, I love doing that stuff and I've, I've put it out there for free. I didn't make a point to try to get anything out of it because I, I wanted to put those games on there because there might be someone that's, that may not want to buy the game and they're not sure I wanted to give them a little bit of a, a, a resource for them to use. Mm-hmm. So what we're going to do is um, that YouTube channel is not going to change. That one's still going to be there. We'll still upload um, gameplay into that. Uh, but what we're going to be doing is creating another channel associated with it where that's going to be where all the sources of our podcast is going to be on there. So once everything gets squared away, everyone will see that from our the greeting actual video. So any new subscribers or existing subscribers that we have on the existing YouTube channel, mm-hmm. you'll see the actual link to everything we're doing. So we're going to keep everybody, you know, posted on everything we're going to be doing. So it's going to be a lot of exciting things mm-hmm. and you know, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. You know, we're going to mm-hmm. have more people on, uh, we're just going to have a lot more to be able to do. And especially now that a new cycle of games are going to be coming out, a new console, it's going to be exciting. Mm-hmm. So we get our hands on stuff like that. It's going to be, that's going to be really good, but it's going to involve everybody. So we've created a lot of social media aspects or avenues for ourselves. Mm-hmm. So now we can be able to have, we're branching out so people can be able to get notice of us and we can be able to grow our community from the ground up. Yeah, you guys. So um, whoever's listening to us, join our uh, social media, our Facebook and our Twitter. Uh, Tony, make sure to put the links below uh, so that you can take them straight there. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, yeah, again, thank you for listening to us and supporting us. And we do have fun creating these uh, podcasts and, you know, we look forward to um, the new year and, and throughout the next year, just um, hopefully building this and, and having yeah. it grow and, uh, you know, talking about the new games coming out and the next gen consoles. Like I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Like that's, yeah, that's what this is all about. So thank you again exactly. for listening to us. Exactly. Yeah. We're, we're, we're trying to, we're trying to make this into something that we, that we can be able to, potentially be able to do a little bit more often than we would want. Mm-hmm. So we're just, we're slowly getting that so we can be able to get everyone to, you know, be a part of it if you want to. So any kind of feedback is we encourage that. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, it's, that's, that's going to be fun, man. That's gonna be fun. Coming, come next year. We're going to have, we're gonna have quite a bit of stuff. That's, that's great. A lot of things in the works. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, more content, you know, on exactly. all of our, our platforms. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Exactly. You know what? We were supposed to do um, review a little bit of The Last of Us or talk about it, but I don't yeah. think we're going to have time on this episode, man. We might have to make it for the next episode. That's fine. That's fine. Um, what we can do is uh, now that we know how to be able to do this, uh, we can be able to just we can we can be able to do it a little bit faster. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, this I, I think it's mainly just because we kind of we started talking about the actual. Uh, the consoles itself are like what they're going to be doing. Right. And yeah, I think with any kind of new console, they're always uh, an, another, like it seems like there might be something, a, a different change. So I think that's what we kind of got excited about seeing these kind of trailers and what the promise of what they're doing. Cause mm-hmm. right now we don't know what it is that they're going to be showcasing. We can get kind of an idea, but we don't know. So we, we kind of have that speculation wheel that just starts spinning. Yeah, for sure. And, um, like Tony said, um, if there's anything that you guys would love for us to talk about or for us to review or a trailer or anything to look at and uh, talk about, please let us know. You know, we, mm-hmm. we're we always going to appreciate your feedback. Um, Absolutely. So, you know, what, okay. what else can we squeeze into this uh, into this episode? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, honestly, man, I, I just think that uh, I think the what the consoles are going to be for, for the future of what games are going to be. Um, I, I think it's it's always going to be very exciting. Mm-hmm. I just think it's it's a matter of like we need to tailor our expectations um, appropriately because the, it, it can be very grand of what they are promising, but until you actually see what they're doing, because a lot of times it takes about a couple of years after the console has been out 
for the public to get mm -hmm. until they start actually pulling the games out that they want, like actually utilize the actual system. Like the PlayStation 4, mm -hmm. when that came out, you didn't get a lot of games that can be able to push what that console can do until right. a couple years later. Mm -hmm. Until you got to see what it could do. Like Uncharted 4, when that came out, you can see the power of that console and what it was doing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's going to take a little bit, but I think a new Halo game, of course, is always, that's always welcomed. I've, I've played the Halo games before. Mm -hmm. I didn't get into it as much, but I, I liked playing them. They're, they're always fun. It's the ones that started up that whole first person shooter, you know, what's, what's become the norm now. So, mm -hmm. uh, but FIFA, Forza, eh. I don't FIFA is fun. Like Force is okay, but I love playing FIFA. Like um, I still have a uh, FIFA 15 mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I play that occasionally on the PS4 and uh, one of my boys likes to play that game. I, I don't like too many sports games, but like yeah. FIFA has always been fun. I, I don't okay. know what it is about it, but playing soccer so in real life uh, for me, not so much, you know, so too much. much running around, <laughs> but, like, <laughs> but playing it with a controller, it, it's very fun. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. So I'm excited to see what they can do, like with the next generation or yeah. next console uh, for yeah. FIFA. That is going to be exciting. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I think it's. I think it's going to be fun. I think uh, if anyone has any kind of thoughts of like maybe price structure of like what kind of storage they think they should be able to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let us know. Um, yeah. Let us know. I think if we if we start actually kind of thinking of you know stuff like that, especially that console where that had that the the Xbox console had that little download button. I wonder if you can be able to do that on the fly, kind of like that share button that they have too. Mm -hmm. So I wonder why they have that specifically. Like, are you able to download like clips very quickly? Like, I, I'm kind of interested in why they they dedicated that button there, or maybe that's the new shared button. Yeah, well, yeah. Maybe. Let us know what you guys think. What is that middle button that looks like a download yeah. button? Let let us know yeah. your thoughts on that. Yeah, yeah. Let's start that. Let's start that speculation time. Mm -hmm. It's all about that. Yep, we have a whole year, <laughs> a whole year exactly. to speculate. Exactly. Exactly. And now that and now that the the Last of Us uh, Part Two got delayed for you said it got delayed two months, right? I think um, wasn't it supposed to come out in April or uh, it I got believe... delayed to me. I forgot what the original date was, but it got okay. pushed back to me. Okay, I know you were devastated but... to hear that, so I'm sorry to be the bearer I... of, of bad news. <laughs> but that's that's okay. You're gonna I, be okay. I, I can I'll be I'll be just fine because you know if I can wait almost ten years for one game mm -hmm. that missed an entire console cycle i i can be fine with that I, I know the last of us is going to be it's gonna be one of those games that you're just gonna it it got so many awards it got there's so many accolations that it got it's just like i i can wait for that Have i got been no 10 years there. since uh the, the original last of us game no, no, no. Uh, the ten years is what I'm I'm referring towards is uh, the Last Guardian, the game that you have no interest in. Oh, yeah. That game. That game missed the. It was supposed to come out mm. in the PlayStation Three yeah. era, and it missed an entire console cycle. Wow. An entire PlayStation Three cycle until yeah. it came out in the PlayStation Four. Yeah, that's what I'm referring to. So if I can wait almost ten years mm. for a game, I got no problem with. You can wait a few more months. months. Exactly. Exactly. Man, we Patience gotta, is golden. Maybe next time we should look at the uh, the Last of Us uh, Part Two trailer, because uh, I don't think yeah. I've seen the newest one. Yeah, you know we can we can be able to do like a, a breakdown trailer for something like that. That'd be fun. Look, especially the one. Um, I think there's one trailer where it broke down some of the uh, the gameplay. Like, yeah. um, what was her name Ellie? Yeah. Like she's like jumping jumping over the cars and, and like fighting guys and stuff, and it, it looked what? really dynamic. Like. Why don't we? Why don't we just do that? Why don't we just do that? Now? <laughs> you got excited. Why don't we just do that now? You want let's to end just do on that, that now? You, yes, let's let's end on that at least. Okay. Because we've been we've been talking about what we what we want to do with the with the Last of Us the 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 first game because we wanted to actually do like a like a running kind of commentary with that actual game where we're going to pick specific parts of the game that we remember and what we love about that game. We're going to break that stuff down. So this is going to be the first test of this because I'm. I'm super excited for this game. Like that's one of the games that I'm just I'm I'm my focus is all on that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's let's pull that up, man. Let's do that together. I want to we'll see if, if I can find one that just has the gameplay. Is okay. that cool with you, or did you want? to yeah. Is there another one you want to? Look uh, at? We'll see whatever whatever one that they that Sony put out for their actual the like their official trailer that shows a little bit of gameplay. That's that'd be fine. Okay, let's see if we can find. And while you do that, I'll just keep talking about the about the Last of Us and why why I love it so much. <laughs> I think you can do a whole episode on that. 
But I would love to, man. I would love to. You, if you, you give me free range to, to mm-hmm. do stuff like this, absolutely. I, I, I can, I can keep talking for as long as as long as we need. You have to interrupt me. I, I do. <laughs> um, oh wow! So the Last of Us re- reveal trailer that came out in 2016. Yes. Dang, that was like three years ago. Okay. Was that the Was that the one where Ellie is uh, playing the guitar? Playing the guitar. Yeah. Oh man, that that was a nice reveal. That was good. Mm-hmm. Uh, See subtlety yes. in that game, mm-hmm. subtlety that they, they that they put in. They know what they're doing. They found their 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 niche with this game. They created a great world with this. Characters fully realized. I just hope that they they corrected the AI because there's parts mm-hmm. in the game when your character would have his part or the people along with him that would be following him mm-hmm. and the clickers or the the people would be walking around and your character would get up or the other characters would get up and run in a different direction and it's like no the character would the enemy would see your character move and they would only focus on you so i i hope that they they fix that the ai which I, i'd imagine that they would mm-hmm. um the last gameplay trailer was from mm-hmm. 2018 does that sound right or did they release an updated uh, one? I think the, the the most recent one that they put up was actual like gameplay footage. I think it was like fifteen minutes. Oh wow! I think. Let's see. But let's whatever whichever one you find that's that's from uh, from Sony because there's other ones that people have like grabbed uh, uh, like gameplay from. Mm-hmm. So let's just go straight to the source with like un- with a uh, not uncharted but um, Naughty Dog. If they have their actual their YouTube channel, I'm sure whatever they post would be the most recent stuff, and we can do that. I'll put okay. Let me try official gameplay. Thanks for being patient with us, y'all. Yes. Well, all this all this stuff itself may be actually edited, so they wouldn't even they won't even see this. But if or they won't even hear this. But if we do, if we keep it in here. Mm-hmm. You know. This is this Fair is enough. the kind of thing the kind of things that we're doing. We're 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 testing out something that we haven't done before, and this is a small little thing that we're actually doing that's going to be expanding on. Once mm-hmm. we get it perfected, we'll know exactly what to do, and it's going to be streamlined a lot easier. For sure. All right. So what what we found is the the Last of Us Part Two, the release date reveal trailer, which came out two months ago. Now we've we've talked about this, and I'm pretty sure both of us have seen it, but we've never actually seen it together. So. Uh, we're going to end our podcast on this, but this is another thing we're going to be posting on our on the actual podcast itself through the YouTube channel, so it shows what we're actually looking at. So, all right, go ahead and hit it. Ready, man? Let's do it. One, two. There we go. Scale of one to ten. How would you? Seems real majestic mm-hmm. with everybody. All right. The graphics look really nice. Know the drill. Yeah. Run your routes. Lock your log books. Oh wow. Run into anything you can't handle. I love this thing. Mm-hmm. When you have your gun, you have to have the mask. I, I hope they incorporate that more in this game. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's the clickers. Oh, come back. That's so cool. Mm-hmm. So they're pushing the PS4 to the limits mm-hmm. with this game. Absolutely. I like how they're blending that the cinematics with the actual gameplay. Mm-hmm. They, they don't hide from that. They yeah, I like that. They, they've, they've made their game really polished. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what's going to drive her, and that's a different that's difference in Ellie than she was as a kid. Now she's like seeing what the world Tell me. is. Mm-hmm. No matter what you do, have to finish it. it's always going to be like this. Yeah. You have no idea what you're walking into. What are you doing? You don't know how large that group is. Yeah. How armed. That's cool. I like the small I dust particles mm-hmm. and the lighting. Yeah. This is going to be so gritty. I know, man. 
You can't I wonder how long this. she's. I wonder how long she's gonna be out by herself. Mhm. Mm Ooh, different types of clickers. I didn't notice that part. Were those zombies? Yeah, they, they came. They came out and grabbed her from the car. Wow. Did they have zombies in the first one? What the they were regular yeah, people, they, right? They, they, they were the runners. Oh yeah, that's right. Joel. I let you do this on your own. Nice. What? It's, so let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. What if they made that co-op? Oh my god, this would be the best Joel game. Joel could play together. Th that's what they need to do, man. Last of Us Part Two. Co-op too. It makes sense. <laughs> May 29th, yeah. 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 I, I I think that's around the same time. So I think they still kept it or maybe it got delayed a couple more months. I think so, it was delayed a little bit. Okay, that's fine. But wow, um, that this game looks like it's gonna be so gritty. Uh mm -hmm. the graphics look nice. I'm sure the story's gonna be amazing. But dude, yeah, if they made a co-op, one controlled um Ellie and the other one was uh Joel. Yeah, that would be so fun. Like, I don't know why they don't why they don't think about it. Well, I think it's hard to do that because a lot of the times when players, when you have two people playing at the same time, they most of the time players will try to break the game, so they'll mm. take you out of what you're doing. Um, I remember reading a book where they talked about that specifically when you're trying to if you give the player the ability to mess around with the environment mm -hmm. while you're having like a in, interaction with somebody while you're having like a in-game cutscene or something like that. Mm -hmm. And if you give the, a, the character the ability to grab stuff and actually throw it while you're actually talking, the care, the, the player is not going to listen to what the story is because they're going to be trying to like break the actual game. So mm -hmm. I think that happens a lot. So it's, it's really hard to control that where you can have the two players focus on what they're doing and not trying to like, you know, get beyond the actual level itself and try to break the actual the, 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 the levels itself. Yeah, like trying to break what they're doing. It needs to be focused I, and directed. I think the only way they can do that is if, like, um, you know, they just turned it into a cutscene and you don't have the ability to move around and stuff. But I, I can understand Maybe. that. Like, like they wanted to have it more personalized experience because yeah. it's possible that you know you can have different experiences like playing co-op mode right if they right. didn't do that so I, right. I can understand why they want yeah. to focus on on it being single player but still if they could have done co-op then yeah that would be sweet but it, either way yeah. it looks like this is going to be an amazing game but even even this right here like the the relationship that ellie has with this with this girl i, I mean i love the fact that she's still you know you can still see a part of her that she's still very innocent after she says that, like, how do you rate our kiss? Mm -hmm. You see just a look on her face. Like, she still doesn't have that, like, confidence where she can still say what she really feels. The real time you actually do see who she really is is when they're outside of the camp, when they're outside of the, the outskirts of where they are. Mm -hmm. That's where you get to see what she's really become. Like when she unleashes and just goes exactly, berserk. Exactly. All the stuff that's been going on since the first game ended what kind of journeys has she's has she gone through to get to this point mm -hmm. and now you kind of have a little bit of happiness where like that's what happened with joel like joel had his the love of his life of his daughter taken away from him mm -hmm. and that scarred him for 20 years he never went forward in that that's why he was able to do the things that he did yeah. as far as like them just being like smugglers and like gun runners right. because he didn't care nothing nothing about his humanity was there anymore he was it was all stripped mm -hmm. and even mm -hmm. the relationship with him with uh um uh what's her face i, I forget her name um the the girl tess mm -hmm. with the relationship with him and tess it seems like they've been together for a long time but you never show that kind of he never has like intimacy towards her it just it's like real cut and dry Right. And with her, with with Ellie, I wonder if they're going to be doing that because after the trailer of what they show, it looks like she's going to sh see like what the reality of this world is. It's going to take all the things away from you, and it's going to it's going to force you down this road because that's the way that this world is. It's never going to be safe. It's never going to be happy. Oh yeah, this is going to be uh, dark and gritty. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Um, it, it makes me want to watch like a Disney movie after <laughs> after seeing that trailer. Is every, everything all safe? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder, uh, you know, things like this, I wonder if you can be able to see like the, uh, like the shops inside. This will kind of actually create more of an actual, uh, for with the characters that are living in this, mm-hmm. kind of like a, a, a rock star or Red Dead Redemption, where you go mm-hmm. into town and you can be able to talk to these people. You can go in and you can buy stuff because why couldn't you, you know? That would be awesome, man. Yeah, you know, and it looks like you look, look at look at the very top, dude. I'm not not to interrupt, no, but it looks good. like they have they have electricity, dude. I didn't even notice that. Like they have um, uh, poles. Look at the up on the very top. You can see mm-hmm. um, power grids, like a little power lines. They, they must have got a generator up and running. That, that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. So they've all like fortified in this, and now that obviously having children running around, and you can see people that are still patrolling on their on the on the horse over there, but it seems like they're still kind of trying to get back their what their lives used to be mm-hmm. so cool so d- did her friend die is that so i don't i mean they don't really they show it of, right they they really do allude to it because you hear her actually say no and then you hear a gunshot mm-hmm. and then the next scene is her like all those showing the back, they show the back of her all bruised up. But, mm-hmm. but those scenes right there where, where it's in the actual, with all of that in the air, mm-hmm. like all that, uh, what is it? The, it's like pollen or something like that, yeah. that they can't breathe. That part right there, like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep interrupting you. No, dude. dude, go ahead, man. But, but look at this. Look at where she, the, the Ellie's girlfriend, look how she actually moves the gun. So it doesn't look like the gun stays in one position. Mm-hmm. I wonder if you have control to be able to shoot where you want. Like if you want to shoot them in the shoulder or in the head. It happens re- mm-hmm. really quickly. Like the gun follows the head. Hmm. I wonder if you can do stuff like that. That'd be cool, yeah, if they incorporated it into the gameplay. Yeah. So like something happens. Obviously, they get they get lost with each other. Like something happens. Mm-hmm. She tries to find her. But it's obviously something, man. There's obviously something that happened. I wonder if something happened to Ellie herself as well. That, that maybe, changed her. maybe somebody, maybe somebody found her. Maybe she was left, left for dead. Yeah. But this, this is, this is why I'm so excited about this game. Just this alone, mm-hmm. where she's walking down those steps and you see the blood getting pulled. You don't know where that blood is. Maybe that's the the girl. Maybe they've already they they're you know whatever they're doing with her. Maybe mm-hmm. they're eating her. or Whatever. But they know exactly what they're doing. They set up that scene so perfectly mm-hmm. because you, you, there's so much mystery with something like this. And what they did with The Last of Us, and every time you would go into rooms, you would see a little story. You would see things that have unfolded, that people left their homes, mm-hmm. and you can see that there was somebody living there. Right. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm excited, man. This is going to be good. Yeah. And I was going to say, it's like before you enter a, like a big moment or walk through a door, like you don't know what to expect or I didn't know exactly. what to expect. Yeah. So even her just saying that, please stop. And then the gunshot. It's intense. And then it's just, yeah. And then it's just, it's just her like showing all those bruises, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's like, like you, you don't know where she's at at this point. Like she's, she's lost it. All of it is just revenge, but they're going to be coming up against people that they never encountered before because now these people these other people they're organized they have vehicles they can be able to get around they call each other they they live on the outside whereas people live on the inside i wonder if we're um if they're showing us at different times like different yeah. times oh that's a good good part to pause it at <laughs> yeah where's this guy's clothes man <laughs> i don't know oh did i am i pausing on that yeah, that's where on my end, there's a guy, naked guy in the chair. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, thank well, you. There we oh, go. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's okay. a lot better. Um, so the part that the part that was paused on, on my end was in the subway where it showed that flare. Oh, okay. That was that was lighting. Um, um, well, I lost my – that guy made me lose my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah. I was, I was thinking, like, I wonder, like, if they're um, jumping in time, like, if they're showing us what happened in the past – and then it's like mm-hmm. fast forward, and then she's a part of the civilization with electricity, and then now it's right. her moment to get revenge, or if it's something right. that happens right away, like that would be interesting to to find out as well. I think it's so. I think I think it's always been brewing. That gameplay you know, looks so nice. 
I know. I love that she takes the weapons away from him. Yeah. Those runners look really creepy. I know. And the look on her face when she sees the cars, it's like, oh, you can't, these people are, you can't mess with them. Mm-hmm. Love Joel. Mm-mm-mm. Can't wait, man. It's going to be good, dude. Yeah. What are your, uh, your final thoughts, man? We should probably be wrapping up this episode. I would say, you know, my, my final thoughts on that is just, you know, I, I can't, I can't say enough how excited I am for that because they know how to pull you into this world so quickly. And with these characters being so fully realized that it's just, I'm curious on where they're at. I, I want them to, I want these characters to, to live past this game, but you don't know. That's Mm -hmm. the one thing that's so awful about this world is that it takes everything away from you. It strips all the things that you love about these characters and it strips all of that humanity away from them. Mm -hmm. And they're just trying to survive and you're trying to do as much as you can to get them to that point. Like it really feels like you're a part of what you're, what this narrative is. Like, Mm -hmm. even though it's already been laid out for you, you seem like you're uncovering all of this stuff and we don't even know what happens with this. Like mm-hmm. does Ellie have the ability to actually move around in the, in the, that downtown area Does she have more freedom with the actual, the levels? Like, is it not so much of a narrow path of where you're going? It, maybe you can venture out a little bit further. Mm-hmm. You know, we don't know like what kind of gameplay they've set up for us, but in the first reveal trailer where Ellie was running away and she grabbed something on the, that was on the floor and she grabbed like a bottle and yeah. then threw it yeah. at one of the enemies while she was running. That looked interesting because they've never done anything like that. So it looks, looks like the levels are a little bit bigger than they used to be. So they're not so like narrow, but I'm, I'm excited overall. I hope so. Yeah. I guess, you know, my final thoughts on this is uh, I'm excited for the gameplay. It looks like it's going to be more dynamic. Mm-hmm. Um, graphics look really nice. I like the story. Like I like revenge stories in general, and I think this is going to be so good. Like I just can't wait to find out what happens. But I'm I'm kind of sad at the same time because I'm not expecting a happy ending. Like I we're know. just seeing all this gruesome, uh, gritty scenes. I'm hoping yeah. she has at least one happy thing happen to her at the end of the game. I, you know, I hope so too, man. I hope that the the girl her her girlfriend is not is not dead. I hope I hope that she's not, but it seems like that's the driving force. It seems like you spend a little bit, like they wouldn't just show you this immediately and tell you that her girlfriend's going to die. They're going to set it up where you're going to have more interaction with this girl, with Ellie and her girlfriend, Mm -hmm. where they're going to have, they're going to make it where you're going to care about this girl. And that's the way you're actually driving towards this. Right. Because these, these, these other enemies, they look really well organized. Mm -hmm. They don't seem like just regular guys that are just walking around and trying to survive they seem like they're a part of an actual group, like a bigger group than we've ever seen before. Mm -hmm. So they have resources, they have weapons. So it's like, it's, I can't wait for that. I can't wait for you to, to get into like infiltrate the camps and like look and see what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, okay, there's this enemy I could take off. I could pick off and pick off and whatever that I'm really interested in. I'm interested in what Ellie can do and what the story is going to be pushing. I just, Mm -hmm. Uh, me too can't say enough can't say enough about it yeah the, the enemies look like they're going to be a lot more menacing you know yeah compared to the first one kind of like what you're saying like yeah. they're, they're more organized they're um uh, part of a bigger group so I, yeah. i'm excited to see you know what they're going to do and like what you were saying earlier i hope the ai is going to be better in this one mm-hmm. but um mm-hmm. overall i'm very excited you know about this game and i i can't wait to to take it for a spin when it comes out. i know man I, hopefully i don't so delay excited. it again I mean, if they delay, if they delay it a little, I mean, they've already done it now. So it's like, if they delay it again, it's, it won't be a problem because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not going to be worried about it. Like, it's not going to like raise red flags for me mm-hmm. because I just like, I know what their finishing product's going to be. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not worried about that. No, I hear you. Like I, I would like, rather yeah. wait for a game and know that it's going to be polished rather than a developer rush out a game and, and have it be crappy. And exactly. Yeah. You know, exactly. I hear you, man. They, they, they'll take, they'll take their time with this and, Every time that they put out a little trailer or something like that, you know, we'll we'll try to have a little bit more of a reaction for for the two of us. But you mm-hmm. know, it's uh it's still coming along. We're still we're still getting our our videos. We're kind of dipping our toes into this kind of ability where we can be able to watch 
of videos instantaneously while we're actually both you know talking to each other so through the podcast so mm-hmm. we'll, we'll we'll get it we'll get it organized so it's uh we're getting there it's it's a process just like everything else mm-hmm. but i just so, wanted to thank everybody for listening to us uh, absolutely. you know as usual this is another exciting episode here on yeah. level one walkthrough uh, yeah. any any final thoughts or comments tony you know i uh we're getting we're getting to episode 10 man and it's wow. it's, it's 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 kind of it's kind of interesting for us to be doing that. Like it's like we're already in ten episodes. We'll be at twenty. We'll be at thirty. You know, like mm-hmm. small small little things that we're doing. It's just it's so it's so much fun to just you know do stuff like this and then be able to branch out to what we're doing and be able to talk to other people. That's mm-hmm. that's gonna be so much fun. Yeah, for sure. I can't man. I can't wait. I can't wait for next year. It's, we're we're definitely pushing in the right direction. Mm-hmm. So very excited. Yeah, I feel the same way, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you everybody for listening. I know that we kind of rambled on a little bit. Um, I appreciate it. appreciate everybody being a little bit patient with us because we're we're trying out a new tool, and right now it's not perfect yet. But this is why we're doing it because we wanna we wanna give more of a more more thoughts onto what we're doing, and we wanna incorporate most of what we can do through through the, through our audience and mm-hmm. have it more visually instead of more of an audio uh, based podcast. So. Um, for everybody, thank you so much for listening, and we'll be back in episode 10. All right. Take care, you guys. Peace okay. out. Have a good one. Thank you for joining us. Until next time.